Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to look at how to copy an audio CD using Microsoft Windows 10. So let's get straight into it. I've got the audio CD in my hand. I'm just opening the CD drive, putting the CD in, and I'm going to click close. Okay. Windows might prompt me to say that I've entered a music CD or it might automatically start playing it. Oh, there we go. It's automatically started playing it. I'll stop that very quickly just in case the YouTube gods decide that I shouldn't be playing that music on my channel. So let's go ahead and load Windows Media Player. So as you can see, this is the audio CD. So we're going to want to copy this CD. So let's have a look at the rip setting, shall we? So let's have a look at the audio quality. As you can see, we've got best audio quality selected. I would certainly recommend going for free, 120 kilobits per second. There's honestly no good reason to choose these in this day and age. Hard drive disk space is fairly cheap. So make sure you're going for the best quality. And let's have a look at format. Okay, so we're going to want to go for MP3. Uh, there's honestly, I wouldn't suggest going for anything else because MP3 is really useful because it's universally accepted and you can pretty much play an MP3 on a toaster these days. So I would absolutely recommend going for MP3. Of course, if you know better, then you probably won't be watching this video because. Uh, you know, if, if, if you feel as though you want to use a different format, be my guest. But my recommendation is uh, go for MP3. It'll play on almost anything. In fact, even TVs these days can play MP3s. So let's get straight into it and click Rip. Okay, so that's starting to copy. This could take a little while. So what I might do is I might stop the video here and speed it up. So let's just have a quick look though to see where that music's being copied so we can actually see it in action. So if we go to music, you can actually copy it somewhere else if you want to, but this is gonna be the default location. So with that said, here we go. Here's the folder in which the music will be copied to. And as you can see, the music has started to copy. We've got one track copied already. And as you can see, the other one is currently ripping or copying. Um, let's go ahead and just click this one to see if it works. And as you can see, it works perfectly. And actually, I can verify that that sounds brilliant. So the uh, CD quality, the 320 kilobits per second is, is absolutely good enough. And uh, I'm going to stop this video here and come back once it's completed a few moments later okay welcome back the uh, audio CD has finished copying now or ripping as they like to put it I've taken the audio CD out of the drive I've put it back in the case I've closed the drive and here we have the CD that we've copied this is the uh, Windows Media Player library so as you can see, we can see all of the uh, music CD in our library. This one's another CD that I copied a while back. So the one we're actually looking at here is uh, this one here, the Black Label Society. Um, with, this is our library. It's, got, it's downloaded all of the information for the album from the internet, which is superb. If I go ahead and click on a track. Perfect, it plays perfectly well sounds superb actually I don't know if the quality will come across on YouTube and obviously I can't play it for too long because uh, YouTube might flag this video with copyrighted content so there's just a little teaser there for you um, but it sounds absolutely fantastic I've currently got my headphones on and I can definitely verify that 320 kilobits per second is more than enough so as you can see that's our Windows Media Player library it's all copied if we go to our music folder, which is the default location, so let me click music. Here we have it. Here's the uh, copy of it. And as you can see, all of the 15 tracks are there. They're all in MP3 format. And likewise, if you wanted to go ahead and make a copy of this for, I don't know, your mobile phone, or you might have a, a media player that plays MP3s. As I said earlier, pretty much everything and anything can play an MP3 file these days. You can go ahead copy it 
throw it on another device, throw it on a USB stick, that kind of thing. If you throw it on a USB stick, you can probably plug it into your TV. If you've got your stereo connected to your TV, you can play it that way. So many ways, a plethora of different ways upon which you can go ahead and play this music. But the great thing is we've been able to back up our own music, store it in MP3 format, and the quality is superb. And we can, we, we've now got more options to play this music, which is, which is excellent. And that about wraps it up for the video. So I do hope you found this video useful and enjoyable. If you did, go ahead and like the video. That would really help me out and the YouTube algorithm. If you want to see similar content to this going forward, why not subscribe? What's the worst that could happen? And if you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, throw them in the comment section below. And I'll be happy to get back to you and consider any suggestions for future videos. And with that said, I will see you in the next one.